The other stage, we are talking about the harvesting stage. So the harvesting stage, um, we are talking about the 40 days from the 40th day and beyond. Of course, uh, we have we had the starting stage from zero uh, zero days uh, or at transplanting to 21 days, then vegetative stage from 21 days to 30 days, then we have the uh, maturation stage from the 30th day to the 40th day, and now harvesting stage of the 40th day. Now the harvesting stage uh, comes in, and here we are looking at uh, it is actually the most important stage because. From the 40th day, uh, that is uh, around six weeks. We are talking about six weeks or uh, even less than six weeks. So we are going to, to, uh, to look at uh, harvesting day uh, going up to, uh, from 40th day going up to almost one year, almost 360 days. And therefore, the management aspects here is very important. And here we are going to look at uh, still our management aspect that we, we had said uh, uh, we, are, we had uh, tackled earlier on nutrition. We are going to look at uh, uh, pest management. We are also going to look at uh, disease management. We are going to look at weeding, of course watering. So mainly those aspects at the, man uh, at the harvesting stage are very important to look at because if these stages are not uh, looked at very well, uh, these stages may bring challenges because you may find, instead of harvesting for more than six months, you may find that uh, you may harvest less, uh, less of that time. And therefore, when you are looking at uh, the nutrition aspect, you have to keep in mind that this spinach, what is harvested are the leaves, and uh, once the leaves are harvested, then uh, you find the other leaves that are there that are younger need to grow up and grow uh, to, uh, to maturity. And therefore, during uh, nutrition, we are going to look at manure. And here in terms of manuring, very well decomposed manure should be applied. And uh, this very well decomposed manure should be applied on the, um, once harvesting has been done, because of course, once you harvest, you reduce the number of leaves. Then harvesting, uh, 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 I mean, um, the manure should be applied on the ground, broadcast on the ground, uh, the uh, where or the farm where you have the spinach, and then to be incorporated together into the soil, and that should be done um, at a level of uh, at an interval of six months of three months. So the first three months you can apply. If maybe after six months you still continue, you can then apply another manure. And uh, that can be done depending on the manure you have. If maybe you have plenty, you can use more. If maybe you don't have plenty, you can maybe use a ton, a ton per acre, or even maybe two tons per acre uh, would be sufficient. So that will keep the spinach crop continuing uh, so that you can be able to continue harvesting. Of course, from here we have now the other ground fertilizer, and here we are talking about uh, uh, the nitrogenous. We are looking at, about the nitrogenous fertilizer, and of course, in the nitrogenous fertilizer here, it also depends on uh, um, the amount to apply and the kind of nitrogenous fertilizer to apply. Uh, mainly, maybe the CN, the urea. It will also depend on the um, the soil testing you did and the advice from that soil testing, so that you can know exactly per acre how much to apply and uh, be, uh, uh, basically what how much to apply per plant. So once you have, you have, the, you have this, and uh, this, the nitrogen fertilizer should be applied, uh, should be applied on a monthly basis. So once you do three harvests, then uh, you are required to apply the nitrogen fertilizer so that it can continue uh, kicking, starting, uh, uh, it, can, it can continue uh, developing the, or giving the nitrogen to the plant to continue growing. The other nutritional aspect of the harvesting stage, apart from uh, the ground application, uh, fertilizer for ground application, we have the foliar fertilizers. And the foliar fertilizers here, uh, since uh, the harvesting is usually uh, the leaves, then here we are going to look at uh, the, the foliar fertilizers that are rich in nitrogen. And here they are called the vegetative fertilizers. Uh, in the agro shop, you're going to find very many brands. But of course, they uh, should be have a high nitrogen. 
And the second fertilizer, we are going to look at the NPK. And uh, an example is 24-24-18 that has, also has the micronutrients. And therefore, once you have uh, these two fertilizers, we are going to, for your fertilizers, you are going to, in the first application, you do a nitrogenous fertilizer. And then in the next second one, you do an NPK fertilizer such as 24-24-18. And therefore, once you have the two, uh, plus, uh, of course, uh, the monthly uh, application of the ground fertilizer, then the nutrition aspect during the harvesting, harvesting stage is going to be complete. And you're going to have a, a spinach crop that it has uh, optimum production. So once that is done, uh, then we have the pest. And of course, here the pest, the same pest that we had talked about uh, in the earlier stages, about the, talking about the bollworm, we are talking about the leaf miners. Um, basically, uh, the bollworm, even the caterpillars that pierce the, uh, or uh, eat the leaves, creating holes on the leaves. And also the leaf miner, as I said, uh, attacking the midrib and uh, also the other leaves. So we are talking, we are, we are talking about uh, the bollworm attacking inside, creating holes. And also we are talking about the leaf miner attacking the midrib and also uh, uh, attacking also uh, inside the leaves. And once that is done, uh, the quality of this leaf is going to go down because if this is attacked, the midrib attack is going to rot. And once it rots, during harvest, this uh, leaf will not, be, uh, will not be taken to the market. That will be a loss. If maybe a lot of uh, attacks by the um, leaf miner, then it will not be of marketable quality. Uh, if maybe there is a lot of holes from bollworms, then of course that spinach is not of marketable quality. Because we want a spinach that is mostly a leaf, uh, a spinach leaf that is almost 100% uh, not attacked by uh, pests. That is the marketable quality. And therefore, we are looking at eliminating the pests. And uh, the spray here should be done after 10 days. After every 10 days, because the pre-harvest interval is 10 days. So once harvesting is done, then what follows is a, a spray using a pesticide. Because of course, at this stage, it, it, uh, it, it, they will be attacked and therefore an insecticide is important uh, uh, at that level. And uh, the same pest we talked about, uh, I mean the active ingredient we talked about, if maybe the bollworms are the majority, you can be able to use um, uh, lambda cyhalothrin, active ingredient. If maybe you have the leaf miners, then you can be able to use uh, abamectin or the abamectin benzoate active ingredients. The diseases, uh, same one that uh, we talked about, that is the leaf spots and also the fungal blight. And uh, this is very, also very important. If maybe we have that as the spinach crop uh, or the spinach leaf, you may find the leaf spots, which uh, usually occurs when it rains. Uh, during rainy season, you are going to find a lot of uh, uh, this, this leaf having very many, very many, 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 many spots. And you find the, the more spots the leaf has, you are going to find that uh, it's not marketable. You may have to uh, prune. You may have uh, maybe to harvest it uh, and then you throw away because once it goes to the market, it will not be of marketable quality. The other aspect, it will have a very short uh, shelf life. You may take them to the market, then the following day, all of them are rotting because uh, these diseases, the bacteria from the plant, uh, the bacteria are going to enter through those leaves, uh, the, the attack from the diseases, the leaf spots, and then the plant is just going to, is going to have a very short shelf life. And therefore, uh, uh, control of the diseases is very important. And these diseases, including uh, the fungal blight that usually attack the margins of the leaves, is very important. It's very important to control them if you are going to have a lot of these leaves uh, selling into the market. And therefore, when you are looking at uh, this aspect, we are looking at the same 10 days. After every 10 days, you are going to mix a, a foliar feed, an insecticide, as, I, as we talked about, it, depending on uh, how you are seeing the attack is. And then you are going to mix now with uh, the fungicide. 
and the, the, the fungicide, uh, the same ones we talked about uh, in the earlier stages are the same ones that uh, are still going to be applied in this stage. So once you have such active ingredients, you can alternate. Uh, in the agro shop, you are going to find different brands that uh, have those active ingredients. You can alternate so that you can be able to uh, control the resistance because you, you don't use every week or every 10 days, you don't use a particular uh, active ingredient. So what you do, uh, only one active ingredient. So what you do, you alternate between the three active ingredients so that you're able to control uh, the resistance from uh, the diseases. And therefore, once you do that, you're going to have a, a crop that you're going to harvest every week. Every week you're going to harvest and uh, you are going to have a rejuvenated crop that is going to give you quality leaves every harvest every 10 days and you're going to be in the market every 10 days for the next six months to one year and therefore uh, making a spinach crop a crop that you can you can rely on uh, to give you a constant source of income